Good day all, and uh, welcome again to uh, Doctor Who DVD overview stuff. Uh, today we're looking at three of the most recent DVD releases. Uh, so we'll just get right into it. The first one is Doctor Who the Android Invasion. There's the front, here's the back. Uh, this story was from Tom, Bacon, Tom, Tom Baker's second season. Written by Terry Nation, who uh, some of you might know is uh, responsible for the creation of the uh, Daleks and uh, wrote the majority of their early stories in Doctor Who. Uh, this has actually always been one of my personal favorites, although some fans hate it because it does tend to have more plot holes than you can shake a stick at, but it's still you know, enjoyable. Uh, there we go, we'll take a look at the special features, your typical behind the scenes uh, on the village, life after who Philip Hinchcliffe interviewed by his daughter uh, detailing everything that he did after leaving Doctor Who in 1976 I believe it was after his third series. So there we go, I have pictures, story number 83. Um, and this is from what is uh, generally believed as the golden age of Doctor Who, uh, the first three Tom Baker series with uh, Phil Hinchcliffe as producer and Robert Holmes as script editor. And that whole sort of era of Doctor Who has a feel that you don't really have uh, throughout the rest of the series. It's, it almost feels kind of soap opera-like. Um, but the stories, they're dark, they're interesting, probably had the uh, best cliffhangers. Then, as we know, after that, Doctor Who went into, I guess, it got a little bit more silly as the Tom Baker seasons went on, then had a complete remake for his final season. Uh, but for most people, uh, the favorite tends to be his first three. Uh, so, anyway, so there we go, the Android Invasion. Next, Invasion of the Dinosaurs. Story itself was good, but uh, the effects, oh my. Um, I'm not quite sure what to say about those. Uh, I guess it was a valiant effort, but even for 1970s, the dinosaurs are, well, somewhat laughable. Uh, I guess they did what they could with that. Uh, this is from John Pertwee's final season. Um, also, there was uh, some issues with... Uh, the, I guess not the restoration of the episodes, but the episodes themselves. Episode one is only available in a, or is only in the archives in a black and white print. The rest is available in color. Now I know for years, I uh, will uh, people are while well, we were waiting for this release to come out, uh, it had, a lot of people speculated that the first episode would be colorized, but as you watch this, uh, it wasn't. They just cleaned up the black and white version. Uh, so there's the front of Invasion of the Dinosaurs. Then your typical behind-the-scenes stuff. This is a double-disc release. So there we go. Invasion of the Dinosaurs. Um, still worth watching. Uh, just don't get your hopes up for the effects of the dinosaurs. And last but not least, Sensorites. This story was actually my introduction to the uh, William Hartnell era. Uh, back in 1991, um, a Canadian uh, television station called YTV uh, was airing Doctor Who daily at 4.30. Um, and then in early 1991, uh, they decided that uh, in addition to their 4.30 daily slot Monday through Friday, uh, they would begin showing the earlier episodes at 1.30 in the morning, so I used to just set my VCR and tape it. Um, so for myself, this has, you know, some fond memories of my introduction to Black and White Doctor Who, uh, which I watched all the other Doctors, well mainly Tom Baker and Peter Davison, but I was fairly, very familiar with their runs, but not with the first Doctor. Uh, the story itself is... Well, it's kind of an odd one because it's it's not loved and it's not hated. It's a story that very rarely gets talked about. Some people have called this the uh, cure for insomnia. I don't think it's that bad. It's definitely not as exciting as uh, 
most other Doctor Who serials, but you know, it's no time lash. Uh, so anyway, so here we go. Typical behind the scenes stuff. Uh, this one also gives you a brief biography of Peter R. Newman, uh, which up until this DVD, I guess very little had actually been known about. Um, you know, and this, I guess, covers up the mystery of who was Peter R. Newman, who only wrote this one episode of Doctor Who, which is one of those which is largely forgotten or ignored or hardly ever mentioned. Uh, but for myself, I still enjoyed watching it because of the nostalgia factor. Uh, so anyway, so those are the recent Doctor Who releases. So, as always, thank you for watching and have yourselves a wonderful day.